Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another Stormworks video. A lot of you guys have been asking around where the tanker videos are, and uh, we're gonna do one today. As you guys can see, this is our tanker. Now, you might notice uh, a few differences from the last time we actually used this thing. For example, uh, it's a little bit wider than it was when we widened it. Uh, also, I've messed around with this little area right here. Uh, so that we can actually get through now, because we were hitting our heads on things, and it just wasn't very good. Um, so those are the only two things that I've changed, and that is it. So, if we have a quick little look down here, you guys can now see the new capacity, which is 630... wait, 639,000. Uh, which is quite a capacity for, um, a tanker that fits in the normal zone. Uh, and, and looks decent. So, um... Yeah, what we're going to do today then, is we're going to see what it floats like without any fuel in, uh, first of all. And then I think we need to add a separate fuel tank for our normal fuel, which at the minute we got 48,000 of. So um, that's what we're going to work on today, let's get on with it. Okay, so with zero fuel whatsoever, we need to go ahead and check that real quick. Zero and zero. That's zero in both. Uh, I'm not sure two massive engines will actually deal with this, but um, maybe it will. I don't know. Uh, and as you guys can see, it's heavier towards the back than it is towards the front, but it is sitting quite level. It's not tipping over. Awesome. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to go inside. I want to grab this fuel tank right here. This one. Hold on, if we can do this. There we go. Uh, we want to grab this entire thing so that we can take it to the other end. And we can attach one on down there. Which is going to be exactly the same size. Which I do have a reason for. Uh, so don't worry. It'll be fine. Here we go. And go wide one more. Yeah, I guess. Yep, that's fine. Uh, we've already got it on that side. Go ahead and copy that. Copy it. Take it to the other side. Whee! And we'll paste it in once we get to the other end. Here we go. So, about here. Is that right? I think that's about right. Oh, no, but it messes with things. It does. As soon as it doesn't mess with all those things on the side, I'll be happy to place it. So, there. Okay. That does mean that we lose a little bit of stuff, actually. It does. It means we lose a little bit of stuff. So if we grab this, and we do this all the way to the side. Bam, 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 bam. We can do it all the way across. Same with this one. All the way across. There we go. And I also want to put some of these on. There we go. All right, nice. Uh, go ahead and merge this with this. Voila. And that should be it. Actually, no, we still need to do this. Because uh, I'm doing things only on one side. Alright, we need to paint this block. If we can, we need to paint it the right colour. Red. Uh, we also need to fill in the roof and the side. And that is it. So, we do this. And we do this. There we go. Is there a hole in the side? Indeed there is. Interestingly enough. Boop, there we go. And same on this side. Oh, because it's not in the centre. Uh-oh. Hopefully I haven't been building things in random places. That would suck. Yeah, like this. What is this? Uh, because this thing resets itself, not in the middle, every single time. Which is super annoying. Uh, but if we go to the front, we can try and figure that out. So I think that's the center. Uh, which, indeed it is. Alright, awesome. Go ahead and turn that off, and wham! Okay, so, uh, in theory, we should... Be able to just delete this, grab a new one, okay, and put that there. Uh, these two are our fuel tanks, and the one that's by itself is, of course, um, not a fuel tank. <laughs> not a fuel tank. Uh, and I think what I might actually end up doing is I'm going to connect these two together. Yeah, I am. I'm going to connect them together so that we just have to have one meter um, showing. There we go. So do that all the way down there. Go ahead and put a piece on the top. And do it all the way back down. Here we go. Okay. And voila. Okay, cool. So, uh, now this is all going to be filled with fuel. Which is weird. But true. There we go. Okay, goody. Good, good, good. That's all fine. 
Uh, we're also going to delete these because they're no longer necessary. We're going to keep those ones. That's fine. Take it all the way to this end. And we need to delete these ones. There we go. And a little bit down the middle. All right. Fantastic. Yeah, this is fine. This is A-OK. -okay. All right. We're going to put some of these on. So that goes there. That goes there. Delete this and this. And we'll put these across like so. Uh, and then we'll be able to get on top. All right. Good. Yeah. Right, so with that being done, we can now delete some things. So I'm going to delete... Oh, there's a big hole here. There we go. Uh, I'm actually going to delete the meter, if I can. So we're going to delete this. We're also going to delete the spawner, because we don't need either. All right, spawn it in, see what happens. Please don't sink, please don't sink, please don't sink. It didn't sink. Oh, but they don't have fuel in. All right, we need to put fuel in, and then we'll see what happens from there. Okay, so go down. Go ahead and click on this and say fuel please and say fuel please okay there we go spawn it in it should be lower in the water than it was so it does it sinks very slowly extremely slowly and i think that is fine that's all right it is sort of going backwards too which is weird um but that's okay right so can it still move is the first question. And then after that, I think we'll put in proper engines. So we do this. And we do this. There we go. So it can still move. How far from the bottom is it? Quite. It's actually really far from the bottom. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm very happy with it. Uh, i got to say, though, it does look a lot uglier uh, with the flat front like this. Uh, however, it is what we've got, and that's what we're going to have to deal with. So we're keeping it. Um, right, okay, engines. Let's do the engines. I kind of want, like, a little engine room, uh, if I'm, if I'm honest. So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna, we're gonna seal this area off in a separate area, thingamabobby, like this. Okay, we're gonna seal all of it off, like so. Uh, it's already done on the other side. We'll have a door here, so we can actually get into the main body. Uh, and then once we've got that, we'll have, um, like, black. Hold on, we'll do this down the side. So that we can actually still walk inside of the hull. Yes. I don't know whether we'll do any hull smoothing or anything like that. But um, we'll be able to see all around in inside here. So that's good. Uh, we're also going to do a seal on the back as well. So something like this. Up there. Something like this all the way across. And delete this thing. Alright, good. Uh, currently we do only have one propeller. But I'm thinking of adding two, two smaller ones. Or two big ones? Oh, I don't know. Hold on. Let's see what we can actually support. Maybe. Okay, prop. So, this propeller. Boss, 20,000. Wait. 200,000. Yeah, I was thinking. 20,000 is a little bit too small. This one, 100,000. The engine itself. So, this is 200,000. So, if we have two engines on two separate propellers. Um... Wait, how much? How many thousand? 200,000. We should be good, I think. Maybe. I don't know. We'll give it a go. So, we'll remove this one. We'll remove all of these. There we go. We'll go ahead and fill this in with one of those. And we'll try and fit these in the right place. So, uh, probably one like here. There we go. Go ahead and push it out. Like so. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, another one. Delete this. Put that there. And that might be too far out. Yeah, I'm more thinking somewhere around the line, along the lines of here. So if I put that in, delete these ones, and we put a propeller on it, which we've already got here, does it fit? Oh, oh it needs to come out one more. Hold on. There we go. All right, now will it work? Yes. All right, there we go. Two propellers. Awesome. Right, so we've built ourselves sort of like a little engine room. I've gone ahead and uh, figured out where the, the things are coming in. So there they are. And we have our engines right here. So we might as well move those to the right place so that we can just have them in line. Um, and that would be all right, I think. So we'll grab one of these. Uh, we'll have it in a different color, like a green. Green engines? Gross. Uh, something like that. There we go. So we have enough room for a clutch. Uh, a clutch. And a gearbox. And that's it. Alright, we do need to move it to the right one. 
Okay, hold on. Hold up. Hold up. We can do this. We are smarticle. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is that in the middle? I think that's in the middle. Oh, we want it. We want it away from this wall one, though. There we go. Is that right? Is that right? I don't know. Meow. Yep, that's right. All right. Fantastic. Good. Um, so they're ready. That's good. We're gonna go ahead and paint the room a different color as well. I don't know what color to paint rooms in this game ever. So we're gonna go with blue. Blue walls. Oh, that's really dark though. That is very dark. Gray walls? Yep, we're having a gray room. It's a gray room. There we go. All right, nice. Gray walls, gray everything. Boom, boom. Uh, boom, boom. We could have a double thick hull if we wanted to. Uh, but I don't really see the need in that, so we're, we're not going to have one. Um, <laughs> but it was worth saying that we could have had one, you know? All right, we'll do that. That's fine. We'll do this and this. There we go. Uh, I'm also going to paint the roof a slightly different color uh, because reasons. Oh, the floor as well. The floor can be brown. We've got a brown floor. What about a dark brown? What about like a really dark brown? Or a lighter brown. There we go. Yeah, we'll do that. There we go. That looks fine. Um, okay, so. Uh, we need an air supply, of course. We need an exhaust exit thingamabobby. We need coolant in. We need fuel. We need coolant out. And we need air. So all of that can be supplied. Um, first off, let's start with the fuel. Because that's an easy one. We just go pipe. Yep. We're going to go like this. Fuel uh, can be the brown one. Yep, I'll do it in color order as well. Color coded. That's fine. And we need a fluid pot. And that is literally it. There we go. Bosh. Okay. Fantastic. Fuel has been done. That's sorted. Um, exhaust needs to go up through the back of the boat up here. So if we can pump it up and back, that would be great. Uh, so let's do that. Pipe. Da -da 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 -da. We want it to go up. And it's going to be like dark gray because it's exhaust. And exhaust is not very nice. So there we go. We'll do that. We'll go ahead and grab a, another one of these and go upwards. And then we'll go backwards. There we go. All right. And they can go literally just like that. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. That is good. Uh, we need to do exactly the same thing on this one because it's also exhaust. Up and up and backwards. There we go. And again, all the way out. So, uh, just like this. There we go. Nice. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, good. We're also going to go ahead and block off these like so. Boop and boop. And then we'll take it up to there. Because that should be relatively easy to do. Uh, we also need our air supply to go somewhere. And that is going to go in the exact same place as the rest of them. Um, the exhaust. Because uh, it's just easier that way. It's the it's like the tallest bit on the boat, and um, yeah, it is just the easiest way to do it. So if all of them go up and out the top, that would be great. Uh, we're also gonna get rid of this uh, and replace it with a bunch of fluid ports, um, because then we can put all of them there rather than just one. So uh, we're gonna do this, boop 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 boop, all the way along, and that should in theory be fine. We're going to delete these ones too and put these in. Uh, just because it works, you know? It works. There we go. Awesome. I like it. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get all of these into the right place. So we need to go ahead and grab one of these. Uh, if we can grab one, uh, that would be great. There we go. So we're going to grab these. We're going to have them go all the way up the wall like this. There we go. doesn't really matter what color they are on this side, but we're going to go for it anyway. Uh, white is going to be air. And the exhaust is going to be brown. Brown. Uh, black even. Oh, gray. Uh, so we're going to go like this. Up to there. Same with this one. Up to there. And same with this one. Uh, same thing. Exactly the same thing. Up to there. All right, good. Delete the tops off of every single one of them. And we need them to come into here. So the way that I want to do this is we'll just pump that up to there. Okay, straight up. There we go. Uh, we'll do the same thing with this one. So we'll pump it all the way up to the top. If we can. Like so. And we'll bring this one down from the top as well. And we'll put it there. Alright, nice. So now all we need to do is connect this with this. 
Easy. Okay, so, angled pipe. Um, pipe. Yep, we just need one of these to go this way. Uh, and if you're wondering why I'm doing the exhaust, like, separately, um, it's, it's with reason. Um, because I think you get a little bit better engine capacity out of it, uh, if you do them separately. So, it's a good thing. Don't worry. Uh, gray. There we go. The right way, though. Boop. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna put them on here, too. One and two. And also three. Boop. There we go. And we're gonna straight pipe. All the way to the end. Okay, so that one goes to there. Yep. This one... Goes to the end, pretty much. Come on! I hate the way the pipes do this sometimes. It's really annoying. Okay, to the end. Good. And this one, a little bit less. So like that. There we go. Awesome. That can go there. That can go there. Uh, and we'll have a white one to go right here. And they'll all connect together. Super easy, hopefully. There we go. Bosch. Do I need any pumps on these? If I do eventually need pumps, we've got enough room, so that's all all right. There we go. We did it. They're all connected. Awesome. Uh, now we just need to connect them up here. So if we delete this, this, and this, we can sort this out. You know, I don't think we've actually got the right amount of pipes. Like, there are a bunch of different ones now, but I don't think we've actually got ones, like, we don't have a corner one uh, or anything like that, so that's a bit interesting. Um... Do we have one where it's like almost all of them but the top one? Yeah, this one. Here we go. So we can put that in there, that in there, that in there, and that in there. Okay, good. Maybe that's not right? I don't know. Because we don't necessarily need to use all of these. Uh, not going to lie. So what I'm going to do then is we're going to put the angled one here. Okay. Like so. And like so. Good. We're then going to put the angled one on here as well, and on here, yes, and we're gonna ignore these ones, actually, unless we do this, um, unless we do this, which in that case, it's fine, uh, and then we can connect the air up to here, and up to here, and that'll allow us to do good things, yeah, okay, so we do this, and we drag it to the middle, same with this one, and we drag it to the middle, uh, and we end up pulling it this way, same with this one, okay, and then we do a flat pipe to connect them, like this, and we do a, one of these to go down, and that's all of them that need connecting, alright, nice, so, pipes, this is really annoying, like, it's, it's, I mean, it's fine, but it's annoying to do, so we're gonna do this, okay, and that connects to there, so we're going to go ahead and put one of these on. There we go. We're going to then put it sideways. And we're going to then put it sideways again. Okay, good. They're connected. Nice. Now we got to do this one. <laughs> now we do have to do this one. With normal pipes. Come on. Straight pipe. Yep. Straight pipe. Yep. Is that touching the floor? No. Okay, great. Good news. Good news. Everything is still fine. Turn it around. Yes. Good. Down. Yep. And down. Yep. Okay, good. And then forwards. Yeah, and yep. And delete this one. And this one. And have it go in there. Boop. And one more. Come on. And boop. There we go. All right, now we do this. Come on. One. Wait. <laughs> it's not in the right place. It's not in the right place. Hold on. There we go. And there we go. And then straight pipe this one to there. And voila! There we go. Engine system is almost completely done. We just need to add uh, one more thing, which is coolant. Now, the way that I've done coolant before is... Um, I've always used radiators. But apparently radiators don't work as well as they used to. So, uh, what we'll do then is we'll do cold, blue. Okay, and that's going to go straight down. And through the floor. Ah, but the floor is... Ugh, that's fine. That's okay. Um, we'll just we'll just fill it in. That's fine. All right, so we'll fill in the floor. There we go. And then we'll, we'll work out where that is again. So here, I think. Yeah. And we just need a fluid port. 
And that'll be fine. Fluid. Here we go. Bam, 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 bam. Out the bottom. Good. If we go across one, we need another one here. And that is fine. Grab this. Make it red. And that's it. Yeah, okay, right. So now we need pumps. Because I think I think it's necessary to have them. But I'm not entirely sure. So we do one one way. That one that way. And this one the other way. And that's it. Alright, cool. Uh, but this one should probably be blue. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, pipe. Come on. Here we go. Pipe, 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 pipe. One and two. And then the blue. One and two. And then we'll just paint it blue. And voila! Alright, we did it! Good! So our engines now should, in theory, work. Alright, we also need to work on this as well. So we're going to put a clutch on, um, not straight away. We need to put a pipe there first. Uh, because we need some sort of electrical generation system thing going on. Uh, and that's going to be orange. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be orange. We need a pipe to bring it forwards. And we need a generator, which is going to be a medium one. Because I think that'll be okay. I'm not actually entirely sure, though. Uh, so, don't quote me on that. Because <laughs> I don't know. Um, pipe, again. We need one of these to go up, and one of these to go sideways. Good. Now we need a clutch. Yep. Okay, a clutch. And then we need a gearbox. To go pointing towards the engine, I think. I don't really know. In fact, actually, if we put it on this side, do it like that. There we go. Good. And then if we go down and we go in, that should allow us to move. Good. All right. So this does also mean that we need to go up to the bridge and we need to sort out some sort of way of moving it. So we're going to delete these for now because we don't need them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and paint this before we forget. There we go. Just like that. And we need a seat. A seat? Should we go for a seat or should we go for a, I don't know, a helm? Should we go for a helm? Helm's probably a good one. Um, I don't really know where a helm would go. Let me Google a bridge. Okay, so the one that I ended up Googling has a seat. <laughs> it actually has a seat, so we're going to go ahead and put a seat in. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess it would be a driver's seat. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to raise it up off the ground because that seems to make some sort of sense. And we're going to make it brown. It's brown. Uh, but the floor is also brown, which is interesting. Uh, so if we paint this this color. Actually, no. If we paint the seat this color, then we'll be fine. Okay, good. We're going to go around the seat. Like so. We're going to have, have a bench sort of thing going on on the seat. That's okay. We're going to quickly jug this. There we go. And we're going to do this. There we go. Okay, so uh, there are a few things that I need to do to begin with. Um, but just to make sure the engines are working at the minute, we're going to rev them up and we're going to do it all on the seat controls. I feel like that makes a lot of sense, right? Um, so we're going to rev them up with that one. We're going to put the clutch in with this one. There we go. Uh, we are going to turn on the pumps with one. Yep. There we go, because you need to put the pumps on before you turn the engines on. And then we're going to turn the engines on with two. There we go. Alright, two. And two. And that is actually everything. Um, and we might as well learn to steer it while we're at it. So we're going to put all of these on. There we go. One, two, three, four. Good. And they should all have electricity already, which they don't. We'll give them some. There we go. And connect that to, I guess, these. That'll do fine. There we go. Pop that on there. Pop that on there. And keep it going. <laughs> we literally need to connect it to everything here. Except from the generators. Because I'm not going to do it that way. No. The generators are going to go straight to the battery. And the battery is all the way in the front. Uh, so that we could keep this thing level. However, the battery is not in the center. So we're going to move it. <laughs> uh, so cut it. There we go. I think that's central. Three on this side, three on this side. Yep, paste it. We need more than one battery though, so we'll have three. We have three batteries. That'll also allow us to level out the front. So that's what we'll do. There we go. There we go. There we go. Connect them all together and connect them to the back. Do 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 do. 
connected to there and there and then here and here. Okay, that's everything connected via electricity and logic, I believe. Um, we can't get inside because they're not connected. So we'll quickly, quickly connect those just to make sure. Do it on both sides. And now, and now, we should be able to go upstairs, start the engine, get it going, and it should be able to move. Maybe. I don't know how fast it'll be moving. Not sure. But it should move faster than what it was. So, press 1. That's the pumps on. Press 2. That should start the engine. Turn that off, because the engines are running. Oh, I don't have it on toggle. Okay, well, we are moving. And I can't move the camera because I have to hold up and I have to hold W. <laughs> Alright, okay, here we go. Nice. Alright, so it moves under the power of the engines. Good. I don't want it to be too quick either, so we'll work out how fast it's going. Uh, and we'll edit the gearbox um, to go along with it. We might also need another generator, like an emergency generator, uh, which I will do. I will do that. Um, but yeah, it moves under its own power now, so that's awesome. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll leave the video here for now then. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.